Uh, now I want to work on taking off the uh, windshield. Now I don't really know where all the clips are behind the trim, but uh, I'll find them. But I think first off I'll take off this upper cowl panel. I believe I can remove that um, without a whole lot of trouble. We'll see how it goes. I got this wiper blade here off by taking a uh, pick tool and uh, holding it underneath the one side and then pulling up on the wiper. I was able to get that off. See how things go. Okay, okay cowl's off. Uh, upper cowl anyway. It was pretty easy. It's just uh, four bolts along the front edge there. One, two, three, four. Comes off. Uh, the cowl's not in too bad shape. Looks kind of dirty and a little bit crusty, but uh, all in all, it's not terrible. That's good. The uh, lower windshield trim here is held on by these clips that are screwed in. This guy's missing a screw, and this guy's missing a screw, but uh, this guy here. So we'll take that off. Okay, the uh, bottom trim piece came off pretty easily. Uh, again, just those screws. It was missing some screws. Um, but it, you take those off and it just falls right off. There's a couple uh, windshield retainer clips. There's one here that's not uh, screwed down. And there's one over on the other side that's not screwed down. I'm starting to take off the trim piece. I got this side off already. <clears throat> Went right up in there. And uh, it's got these little clips. You can see one of them right here. These little clips. And it's got uh, little teeth on the back side of it. If you see the little teeth there. Um, they hook into the edge of the trim. If you take a look at this edge. Sorry, here. It's got a little bit of a lip on the inside of it. And it just hooks right into that lip. You can see the rusted area where it was latched onto there. So what I've been doing is just taking a little uh, plastic shim and sliding up underneath it to pry it away from the uh, windshield a little bit and then going in there with my hook tool and uh, gently pulling that uh, clip inward a little bit and that allows that trim piece to just uh, to release from that and come out of there. Um, I've done this side, I'm going to do the other side and then the top and then I can look at uh, cutting the windshield out of this thing. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I've removed all the track, all the channel that goes up and around the windshield. If you'll notice the uh, location of all of these clips. There's uh, three along this side. And there's seven along the front. There's a stud for one right here but the actual clip is missing. And then another three down this side. Now, what I did after, uh, after I got that trim off is I took my razor blade and I went along the side here. It looks like they uh, used two different methods of uh, sealing this windshield in here. Uh, you got the really gooey stuff. I'll you know, pull this out right here. Really gooey stuff there and then kind of around the outside of that was some more brittle uh, material which came off in strips like once I kind of cut it with my knife I could just pull it and just pull it off in big strips so I'm hoping that that will uh, allow me to not have to fight too hard to get this windshield out um, I've got a little windshield cutter and I'll uh, I'll give that a try in just a minute Ta-da! Windshield's out. Um, I used this little uh, windshield removal tool here, which worked pretty good, but they laid this stuff on super thick. So I got a little propane torch, and I heated up the blade on that, uh, on that windshield knife, and uh, then it cut through it pretty good, but the windshield still didn't want to come out of there. Looks like I've got uh, some rust. Up in there, ugh, that's gross. Um, got the windshield over here. I did end up chipping uh, the very edge of it just a little bit. My knife turned a little bit and got a little chip 
right along the edge, but I'm thinking the, the window trim will cover that. So as long as I don't damage it anymore, I should be able to put it back in. Um, I've got it sitting on the suction cups and I'm gonna leave it that way until I can clean some of this, uh, some of the crap off. Um, <laughs> this stuff is gooey and sticky, but, uh, yeah, got that window out. Now I can uh, try and get the rear window out and do the same thing. Yay. Back window, um, the channel comes off of it the same way. Just little clips up in there, uh, all the way around. It's in five pieces here. You can see, and this piece here just overlaps a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and cut the back window out. I figured uh, removing this back window from the inside is definitely the way to go. I'm using my little pick tool here, which is soon to become my very favorite tool. I can get up in the uh, up in the area here where it's attached and actually pull that uh, goo out of there. As you can see, it's pretty damn gooey. I've got a pretty good collection of it so far here, and. Uh, I've done kind of the sides and most of the top. I tried to do the top from the outside with that pull knife and it did okay, but it still left a lot of the goo in there. So it's, it just kind of reattached to itself. But uh, yeah, I should have this thing out of here pretty quick. Ta-da, the back window is out. That is some gooey, gooey stuff. Ugh. Don't put that on anything you, you don't want it to be on. But I got the glass out, it's all in one piece. It isn't scratched up or chipped yet, so that's a win in my book. Okay, now I'm cleaning the uh, urethane sealant off of the glass here with uh, a little bit of acetone, which I put in a uh, turkey basting syringe and just kind of spreading that around with that. And then I uh, use a little like sponge with the uh, Brillo pad material on it. And just uh, working that off of there. Just working my way around, all the way around, trying to get all that off there. The acetone actually eats this stuff, so it works quite well. Um, I originally was looking for rubbing alcohol, but I guess rubbing alcohol doesn't uh, doesn't actually eat the urethane like uh, the acetone does. <laughs> 